Welcome to the upgradable desktop memory installation guide. What you'll need is your original owner's manual, the upgradable memory installation guide, an anti-static strap, and a screwdriver. The owner's manual can give you important information on memory configuration, such as if your memory has to be installed in pairs. It is essential that you back up all files before installation, shut down the computer, remove all plugs and power. There are three types of desktop cases. First, the screw that secures the side panel at the back, the thumb screw that secures the top panel at the rear, and a clip that secures a panel that's easily lifted up. This installation will show how to remove the screws from the back of a desktop case to open up the side panel to get access to the memory. There is usually two or three screws at the back of the computer that secures the side panel. The side panel should be easily moved back and lifted away from the desktop. This is the stage of the installation where you should attach your anti-static strap. If you don't have an anti-static strap, you can touch the metal case to ground yourself. It's important to check that there are no cables covering the memory slots. There should be two or three memory slots color-coded for dual channel memory. If any cables are unplugged, they must be replugged before rebooting the computer. To remove the existing memory, push down the latches that hold down the memory on either side of the module. The memory should then be able to, to be lifted out. The memory sockets could be color coded like shown here that shows that the memory is installed in pairs for dual channel mode. In this example, we are removing the existing memory and installing two 1 gig modules in the orange sockets. Memory has been designed to be installed only one way. There is a notch on the module that should line up with a notch on the memory socket. You hold the memory from either side and place the memory in the slot. If it doesn't fit, turn it around and again line up the notch with the notch in the slot. Put the memory in the slot then push down gently on either end of the module and the module should clip in. When it clips in properly, when it clips in properly, the white latches on either end of the memory socket should raise up and hold down the memory module. The memory can be checked that it's seated properly by gently pushing down on the memory module. If the memory doesn't fit, don't force it. In this example, only the left-hand module is installed correctly. If you have a look, the white latch on the left has clipped down the module, the one on the right hasn't. Now the memory is installed, we reverse the process to put the desktop back together. The side panel is slotted on. It is important that all cables are connected correctly before you put on the side panel. If any cables have been knocked, the computer may not restart. Once the screws are replaced and the side panel secured, the computer can be restarted. Replace all the cables and power up the computer. The new memory should be automatically detected. To double check in Windows, open up Control Panel, double click on the system icon and the new memory total should be there. Congratulations, you've upgraded your computer.